Akixia here from How to Electronics. A couple of weeks ago, a product was delivered to me from DHL Logistics. It was sent to me from Shenzhen, China, and surprisingly, the parcel was too big. Out of the curiosity, I immediately opened the parcel and found there were a lot of products from Shenzhen Son of Technologies. One of the products was Wi Fi based smart LED RGB light strip. And this was the smart screen wall switch called as NS panel, which looks awesome. I also got a Wi Fi based smart LED filament bulb with a creamy white light features. Then this is smart plug with Wi Fi features, which is also compatible with Google Home and Alexa, is my favorite plug. Inside the box, there was an RGV LED strip that contains 5050 RGV with multiple colors. The same box also contains multiple adapters as well as controllers. I will explain all the products in some other videos, but now I will explain about this awesome product called NS Panel from Son of Technologies. The panel is machine wall switch integrates three interactive methods, including touch screen control, voice control, and app control, which means you can easily put home control in a place to manage. This touch screen panel it has a TFT LCD display, some indications LED, a temperature sensor, and some ports for connecting devices. You can download the app using the QR code for your phone and configure the device using the Bluetooth connection. The Anish panel will show you the beautiful widgets play with room temperature, current time and date. You can press two buttons to control two different electrical appliances. You can manage one widgets. You can also control your thermostat settings as it has an internal thermostat. I tested LED light and fan which was controlled using two buttons of NS panel. Similarly, the Android or iOS app can be used to control the two outputs as well. The app will display temperature and two buttons to turn on off the appliance. In this way, you can manage any appliance at your home just by using the mobile app from anywhere in the world. The NS panel also has a voice interactive features which can be implemented with Google Home or Alexa to control the home appliance. Let me show you the demo. Hey Alexa, turn, turn on how to electronics outlet one. Okay. Alexa, turn off how to electronics outlet one. Okay. Hey Alexa, turn on how to electronics outlet 2. So this video gonna be exciting. So without wasting any further more time, let's get started. Welcome back again. Let me do the unboxing and show you what is inside the box. So this box comes with very nice packing and Sonoff has named this product as Smart Screen Wall Switch. This product is very unique as nobody else has made this sort of product so far. Thanks to Sonoff for providing me with this unique product. The product has an application called as EWE Link App which is available for both Android users as well as iPhone users. Behind the box you can go through the features specifications and abilities of this NS panel the NS panel has been designed for both US standards and European standards similarly it also compiles with the guidelines with Google Apple and also Amazon Alexa let me open this box and show you what is inside it the box comes with a user manual book for easy setup and this is an NS panel with all-in-one control center. It is featured by powerful sensors and processors. At the back side of this board, there are five pinouts for input-output connections. Out of the two are input and two are output and one is the unused port. There are two buttons on the panel which can be manually pressed. The left and right buttons can be used for configuring the device as well. The button portion you can see a small indications LED and also a temperature sensor 
On the back side, you can remove this plastic covering so that you can have the access to the screws. The back and front portion of this panel is detachable. Simply by pulling the device, you can remove the front from the back, but the device becomes non-usable after separation. There are two long screws inside the packet as well. The screws can be useful in fixing the device on the wall. A manual is also provided in the box, which gives all the information regarding the detailed method of configuring and setting up the analog panel. There are four ports at the back side of the panel to connect the electrical appliance. First, use a screwdriver to loosen all the screws. On the panel, there is a mark as N, L in and L out. The N is the neutral, whereas L is the leave wire. Connect the 220V AC input to these two sockets, that is N and L in. So now the device is ready to turn on as we have done the AC input wiring. Connect the output terminal of the panel to the two output devices as per the circuit diagram here. The connection is similar to the connecting the relay. In my case, I will be controlling the AC bulb and a fan. After the connections are done, cover the casing with the slider. To turn the device, supply the device with 220V AC supply. So now you are ready to go. When NS panel starts after power mode, it enters into a configurations mode and asks you to add a device with Bluetooth pairing. Download the EWE Link app through Play Store or Apple Store simply by scanning the QR code on the instruction manual. After downloading, open the app and grant all the permissions. Then create an account using your email or phone number and then sign in. Now there will be an option to add a device. So click on add. Choose Bluetooth pairing. To put the device in a pairing mode, click on the button of NS panel for at least 5 seconds. Once the Bluetooth device appears on your phone, tap it to connect with NS panel. Once connected, it will ask you to select the Wi-Fi network and enter the Wi-Fi credentials. So, enter password and save it. Now the device will try connecting to the Wi-Fi network. The device has been successfully added now. From the list, choose any option. So, a dashboard appears on NS panel with a beautiful widget. And there will be two devices appearing on a mobile app as channel 1 and channel 2. Let's go for the testing part now. As you can see here the NS panel screen, it displays the current time and date along with indoor and outdoor temperature. Pressing the button will turn on the bulb and fan. So this is like a manual switch. You can turn it on and off repeatedly. I use CFL bulb and fan as an example. You can use anything else for your application. Now, when you slide the NS panel window, it will show an option to add widgets, which can be done through the app. Similarly, when you slide the screen from top to down, it will show you the option to change the brightness and also to change the device orientation. Currently, it's on the portrait view and I would like to change it to a landscape mode. So, this is how the system works. On the mobile applications, there are two buttons at channel 1 and channel 2. You can press them to activate or deactivate the electrical appliance again. This is very interesting. You can use your smartphone from anywhere in the world to control your home appliance. You can also expand the app to this widget type view. You can also tap these two buttons here again to control the light or fan. The app also has an option for scheduling. You can select and activate the schedule to turn and off the appliance automatically. Just select and save the timing from the app manually. The app also has an option for setting the timer. You can add the timer in hours and minutes from the list. Then allow channel 1 or channel 2 from the list. You can also activate the loop 
timer option. From this option, you can enable, disable or repeat the activity again and again automatically. The best part about the device is it has a thermost at settings. From the button, select thermost at and here you can see two options, a heater or a cooler. Select any of them from the list. Once selected, a screen will appear both on app and on NS panel screen. Click on the power on button to activate the thermostat. You can slide the circle to set the upper limit or the lower limit temperature. Whatever changes is made on the app, the same will be observed on the NS panel screen. There is also an option to activate the manual mode or an auto mode. The same thing can also be done from the NS panel screen. On the app, there is also an option to add screens. This is like adding the if and else conditions. The conditions may be any timing of the day or maybe sunrise, sunset or a smart device. Select anything from the list. The device also can be controlled via Google Home and Alexa. I got both Google Home and Alexa with me. As an example, I will activate one of these for the demo. I selected Amazon Alexa which is my favorite. First, power on the Alexa. Then from the App Store, download Amazon Alexa. I have already downloaded it, so I will open it simply. From the Add Device option, you can add the NS Panel. Go search for EWE link from the search option and add it. The Alexa will start looking for the device to connect. It may take up to 45 seconds to connect. So, here you can see the Alexa has found three devices. Click on the next and add all the devices one by one. So now you are ready to go. Let us see the demo now. Hey Alexa, turn on how to electronics. Okay. Hey Alexa, turn off how to electronics. Okay. Hey Alexa, what did it? Turn, turn on how to electronics outlet one. Okay. Alexa, turn off how to electronics outlet one. Okay. Hey Alexa, turn on how to electronics outlet two. Okay. So that's all from today's videos. You can check the link in the description to buy the NS panel from Kickstarter. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching.